Hi, I'm John Luker again. I'm one of the executive members of the Santa Susana Field Laboratory Community Advisory Group. I'm also on the board of the Santa Susana Mountain Park Association. I'm here to talk today about education and how you can educate yourself. Now, when I first started in this whole thing, uh, I had a lot of conversations with Mr. Dan Hirsch and he told me a lot of methods of getting your point across. You want to stay away from Pico Curie's program. You want to stay away from facts and data because people just go right to sleep. He said talk about emotions. Get that cancer victim up in front of the microphone and she starts crying and weeping because her children are dying because this place has killed them and I'm sure it's rocket dying. And how can I possibly follow that to the microphone and say, save the mountain lions? You know, it just looks really bad. But there really are facts out there that you can avail yourself of. The problem is you have to study. You have to read. When I first got involved in this, I started reading a lot of data and it scared the living crap out of me. Uh, I was given more data by the same people. And then I said, well, what about what these guys are saying? And they said, oh, don't read that report. That was financed by the Boeing Company. Read our report. As if you financing them made them any more independent than the companies that the Boeing Company was hiring. Um, don't talk to that guy. He's greenwash. He's astroturf. You know, you can't trust him. Astroturf. Greenwashing. Most people haven't heard those terms before. AstroTurf is really easy. It's this nice green stuff that looks like a lawn, but it's really plastic and glued on. Okay, it's sort of like a covering that makes you look green, but not really. And greenwashing is taking a really bad industrial site and making it look real pretty and make it look like it's a forest again. That does happen, but I've been accused of greenwashing. I've been accused of uh, being, an, being AstroTurf, but quite frankly, I actually am trying to preserve something and people sort of get lost in that. Now, my feeling is, if your truth is so coherent and so powerful, it shouldn't matter what else you read. You'll always keep coming back to it. So I started looking at some of these other documents. I started talking to other people and I started getting contrary opinions. I started getting contrary data. And what do you do with contrary data? Well, you've got to either change your hypotheses or reject everything else. <sighs> I decided to use the scientific method and change my hypotheses. I found out there was a lot of data that is in conflict with what you're being told by other groups around here. So the best thing you can do is make your own choices, make your own, uh, create your own education. If you want, come talk to me. I'll have coffee with you. It's about an hour and a half, two hour conversation, and I'll present you with a bunch of facts and data. And then I'd like you to go to Mr. Hirsch. I'd like you to go to the Rocketdyne Cleanup Coalition. I would especially like you to talk to Michael Collins of the Enviro Reporter website. Go read their stuff, and then come back and talk to me. It never fails. People always come back, and people always say, Wow, those guys are a bunch of loon balls. Thank you very much for listening.